Oh, this is the right park early Saturday morning. Mm, son, One is dead, the other being treated at the hospital after multiple surgeries. Their family is sharing their story and calling for answers. WGN's Jewel Hillary live at 35th and Mid- Can we get up to um is it all right if we get to uh Damn, we still landed 300 likes? That's fucking crazy, man. Come on, man. Push us over the top, man. Get us to 300 likes, man. Come on, guys. It's not that hard. And Michigan tonight with more details. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Ray. As the family processes the murder of Truman, they are doing their best to stay strong for his... Why is she fucking smiling? Uh, maybe she's just used to it. Maybe it's just... Um, I don't know, man. What the fuck? Maybe the producer told them. Hi, good evening, Ray. As the family having a good day, you know. Murder of Tremon, they are doing their best to stay strong for his older brother Terrence, who was fighting to stay alive. This is a great loss. I, 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 I don't know what to say. It's like my heart is outside my body. Family members of 31-year-old Tremon Thomas and his 32-year-old brother Terrence Thomas are desperate for answers. My sons didn't deserve this. They're out here trying to work for a living. Early Saturday morning, the brothers were delivering food for Uber Eats in the 1400 block of North Avers Avenue in Humboldt Park. According to CPD, it was around 3 a.m. when someone in a blue SUV fired shots, hitting Tremont and Terrence Time out, inside man. of their vehicle. It's time out, man. You delivering Uber Eats at 3 a.m. in the morning in the fucking oh. in the wet in the I mean, west side. This of is all a food places. desert. Like the, these are badly needed aid packages, just like the shit going to Gaza. But yeah. like, dude, right. murder of delivery or livery drivers is yeah. like overwhelmingly sun. No matter where right. it happens. 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. This is the neighborhood. Uh, you know, look. If you, if anybody wants to delete themselves, just go ahead and deliver a food in the west side of Chicago. Yeah, man. I, I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do. I get it. They're trying to hustle, and I know a lot of people do that. Um, they, um, they'll they do tag team it. They'll do it with their wife, their girlfriend, yeah. their siblings. But, but what's that going to do for you when the son might put a gun on your face? That's not going to do shit for you? Nah, but he should have known better. He should have known better. Likely, yeah. Mm. Uh, come on, man. These, these motherfuckers are so dumb and dangerous, dude. Three in the morning. Yeah. You're putting your people in danger. They you people don't, don't do it. You know, like Uber is not like Lyft where you have that decal. So some men could probably just think, you, who the fuck is that pulling up? Is that the ops? I, I, these song words, the one that ordered the food will be the one to rob you. No doubt. No, but what I'm saying is like this seems like a, a was a shooting like they seem like they got shot up. It doesn't look like a robbery. It looks like they the, got shot the, up. This happens often on the west side. It does. Like uh, food drivers, pizza delivery drivers getting gunned down on the west side. It's not oh, a, okay. You know what I mean? I mean, it's dangerous. Yeah, man. It's crazy, man. Or Uber Eats in the 1400 block of North Avers Avenue in Humboldt Park. According to CPD, it was around 3 a.m. when someone in a blue SUV fired shots, hitting Tremont and Terrence inside of their vehicle. Tremont was killed, and Terrence is fighting for his life after six surgeries. He did everything. Everything. Six Thanks surgeries. Right, man. Fact, six. Think about that, man. Everything the Sun Man gets, man. Six fucking surgeries. Surely he was insured, too. <laughs> That's not going on the doll. Yo, yo, I that that Patel had his work cut out for him, huh? Shit, that Max. team of Patels and probably gliders, tigers. Oh my! Six surgeries to keep this son word alive, so he can go protest against fucking cops one day. But, fucking- but, but, but let's be real. I right, let, let's. I mean, all jokes aside, trying to like you know process this. What a tragedy that this man who was, you know, working to feed his family was victimized like this. How fucking unfortunate, man. How unacceptable. But I know, but I know, I, but I know there's some people out there, I, and, and not, not to throw shade, but like chaotic, for example, who will, well, well, if I say, if I say this happens a lot over there, they'll, they'll say, well, no, it doesn't happen a lot. What do you mean? Well, yeah, it doesn't happen every single day, but it happens a lot. Like what? How much for you is like more a lot, you know? 
happens once, a lot over there. Once this happening once is bad, twice is worst. This happening like literally like a couple hundred times a year in the city is just insane. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I, these whole tabs will say shit like, "Oh, you're exaggerating." It's not like okay, whatever. But I'm telling you, the tolerance for this kind of bullshit is amazing to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It is. It is. It's. it's that's why I say, man, it's an echo chamber, man. It's continue to be echo chamber, man. Race is hey, real. Uh, hey, uh, you ever get the Hotep guy that you used to debate in your old videos? That was some of the first videos I watched. You. Yeah, no. Does he no, ever come no. on the panel? Because he was willing nah, to have he, a conversation with you. Not, he's not. He's not. He he he's 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 just a, a buddy of mine that you know, like musician buddy. Um, he he doesn't do the YouTube thing. I I I I just did that turn the camera on while we were talking a couple times in the studio on his basement. Like he doesn't do YouTube though. Nah, he wouldn't come up here. No. Um, but yeah, shout out to him, man. Um, yeah, this brother, man, this brother right here. Think about it. He might not even know that his his brother's dead. Like he might be sedated. He like when he came to the hospital, he might have been so fucked up. And the surgeries, then what you know, then they probably have him in a deduced coma or something like that. He probably doesn't know that his other bro that his brother's dead. Life after six surgeries. He, he did everything. Everything a good man's supposed to do. He didn't deserve this. Terrence didn't deserve it. Loved ones describe Tremont as a selfless, gentle giant who held the family together and above all loved his baby girl. It wasn't nothing that he would do for anybody. Even when I didn't even know he was doing things with people, he, he just, he was always just doing things with people. And he, he was the most- One thing about black people I noticed, man, even when they say, when they, when they don't go, the person's funny or they were the life of the room, they're, they're, um, what they value in other people is just different than um, most groups. Most groups, when they give you a compliment or say it's about your character, like when you passed away, they talk about your character. He was, he was resilient. He was nice. He was kind. He was, um, he was um, very smart. He was, um, he was ingenuitive. You just you know use adjectives. Black people, if they don't say you funny, they'll say you was giving stuff. You was constantly giving people stuff. They cherish. It's it's interesting that they black people actually will, will, the only thing they'll really give you credit for is being funny or giving them something. Very interesting, man. Salute to LRLRS. The most awesome is that. After hearing about the tragedy, Uber shared a statement saying, we are heartbroken by this horrific act of violence. We extend our deepest sympathies to the Thomas family during this tragic time and hope they get justice. We have been in touch with police and will continue to support their investigation however we can. Crisis responder Andrew Holmes says anyone who can lead police to make an arrest and conviction can receive a $2,000 reward. If you want to look past the rewards and care about this individual's life, then do that. Do the right thing and turn these individuals in. You know what, Chicago, we're losing. He doesn't sound like that's um, likely to happen. Nah. Or competent. I think Uck froze. Nah, I think that. Yeah. Yeah, this is sad. Oh yeah, it's so it's how tragic, man. But it's every day, all day. Yo, Uber needs to drop a report about how many of their drivers be getting killed on the job. There are yeah, reports I've, I've read some or wrote one at least recently. You know Perfect. that is like uh, bemoaning the the rampant death of you know. Right. Drivers well, I mean, nature. Yeah. And I mean, also think about it because every time I hear a story like this on the west side or the south side, right? But 
they're always the same. If a man is working this late, he's obviously doing it for a reason. He's not just doing it because he wants to be at three in the morning delivering food. You know what yeah, I mean? I think, I think it's because 